Hello everyone. You might think that rigging and animating a character is very difficult, but in this video, I will show you how easy it can be to rig and animate a character using the Duet Basil. This is the result I want to get to at the end. Let's get started. The first thing I need for rigging is a character. I have downloaded this character for free from the freepick.com. I put the link in the description of this video so that you can download this character if you want. After downloading the character, what I need to do is to make the joints of the character circular so that no problems happen to the joints while rotating them. As you see, I have made all joints circular. After that, I will go to Duik and create the skeletons for it. You must make sure that the anchor point of the skeletons is exactly on the layer's anchor point. To do so, I use the snapping tool. To create the left arm skeleton, I select these skeletons and duplicate them in Duik Basil. And to rename the layers, I go to the Tools section and in Rename, I want to remove two characters from the end of the names. So, I insert two here and I also want to add left and an underline in the beginning. I also want to name these layers for the right arm skeleton, so I add this to their beginning. I bring this skeleton here. I enable the snapping and put the layers into place. After doing that, I move on to create skeletons for the body. The body consists of several parts. First the hip, second the chest, third the neck and fourth the head. Therefore. I go to the spine settings. I need a skeleton for the head, one for the neck, one for the spine and one for the hip. I solo the created layers along with the body, head, neck and hip layers.
After I'm done skeletonize the character, I move on to parenting the layers to the skeletons. To do that, the character's right arm must be parented to the right arm skeleton, which is this layer. And also, the other parts must be parented to the related skeletons. After parenting different parts of the character to the skeletons, the components of the face such as the glasses, the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, and the mouth must be parented to the head layer. Also, this part of the hair must be parented to the head. After that, I select the skeletons by hitting Select Structures option. In the Links and Constraints section, I click on the Auto Rig option. I get back to the Duik again, in the Structure panel hit the Show and Hide option to completely hide the structures. As you see, the character is perfectly rigged now. After doing that, to animate the character, I just need to go to the Automation panel and use the Walk Cycle tool. Before I apply the walk cycle tool, I go to its settings. To make sure that the walk cycle has identified the controllers, I will check the controllers once more to make sure they are properly defined here. So, this is the right arm controller and it's defined correctly here. As you see all the controllers are properly identified here. Let's get back. I select the controllers and click on the walk cycle. Once I hit the walk cycle, you'll see that the character starts to walk, but her gait is the opposite. To fix this movement, I go to the main parameters, in the walk cycle section and remove this negative. And now the character moves forward. The problem here is that the left hand rotation angle is not correct. To fix it, I select the controller and here the reverse is no longer functional. Because when I apply the walk cycle, as you see the arms controller exits the IK mode and sets to the FK mode. To solve this problem, I go to the FK, individual control. I hit U key and I will be at the beginning since the keyframes were created here. And I start rectifying the character's arm angle. Let's move to the walk cycle settings. As you see the character's legs are bent in all positions, while when the character is in this pose, this leg must be straight. To fix this problem, I select the body controller and bring the character up a little. Let's check it out. It got a little better now. I think the hands still need a little rectifying. I go to the arms controller. I go to walk cycle settings. Then go to character. I increase the energy a bit to make the character more flexible. And in secondary control, in body I change 5 to 3 to reduce the up and down movement of the body. In the legs, I increase the height. 
As you see, it affects the lifting of the legs. I set it to 100. The pacing interval is a bit short, so I go to the walk cycle and increase this. The energy is a bit high, I set it to 10, its own default value. The body must still go higher. Let's check it out. I should reduce this a bit more. Move it lower. To make the head move more, I increase this. And as for the arms, I set this to 10. Let me hide the controllers so I know exactly what is going on. The body must be moved a little further. I move the body further more to make it better. Let me set the body swing to 6 to see if it gets better or not. I reduce this a little. Increase this. And set the high to 70. To prevent this line from getting on her leg, I bring this leg layer on top of the body. I can go here and to reduce the walking pace increase this a little. I set it to 230. I think 210 is better. As you see, I was able to rig and animate the character without creating any keyframes using the Duet Basil. To get acquainted with all the tools, and abilities at the Duik script provides you, for animating and rigging the character, I suggest you watch this tutorial on rigging the character using the Duik Basil, which can really be useful to those who want to become professional in the field of rigging and animating the characters. To animate more details of the scene, the hair, eyes, eyebrows, and scarf, I'll see you in the next part.